In this video we're going to be looking at field properties and more specifically setting the properties so that a field must have data entered into it when a new record is created. I've created a new table here with just some very basic fields in first name, surname and county. Always remember you've got the field properties at the bottom. There's all kinds of features in there, some of which you will have already used. For example, the field size, which is just how many characters the field can accept. We've got formatting, and depending on the data type, the formatting can have different options. There's input masks that we've covered in other videos. The area that I want to look at now is just this field here that says whether or not the field is required. And the default setting is no. And all we need to do is select the drop down arrow at the right hand side and change it to yes. Notice I've done that on the county field. So when I switch into data entry view, I can start entering my information into the table. If I don't put anything in the county field, when I come out of that record, I get a message saying that that county field cannot contain a null value. This is not an error message. It's an information message that tells you we have to enter something into that field. As soon as we enter something into the field, we can then move on to the next record. It's probably worth mentioning at this stage, if I just delete that, that if you do get some error messages, is here. It sometimes feels as though you have been locked into a cycle. You can't get away from it. You know you've got a message, so you try to it and the message is appearing. The way to get around that is simply by pressing the escape button on the keyboard. And that deletes the entry for that record, which means that you do have to start entering the record again, but you have got out of that cycle. We can combine this requirement field, this one here, with another useful feature, and that's the default value. You can put a default value in that field. That means that whenever you create a new record, the field will be automatically populated with whatever you type into this default value area. Let's have a look at that. We'll need to save the table switch into datasheet view and you can see already it says Cumbria there for my new record. So that's the default value in combination with the required value. But of course you can do all kinds of combinations. You can put input masks um, and look up fields in combination with any of these and you can get some really quite powerful data entry time savers. So that is making data entry on a specific, specific field a requirement.